I'm Michael McGarrigal. I've given up my job to travel around the world for the next three years, or the next 1,080 days to be precise. I'm from South Belfast and I worked here in Shorts as an engineer for six years. I've sold everything, my house, my car, my belongings. I've no roots anymore. Somebody in here heard me on the radio and asked me if I'd take a camera with me on my three-year hike. I've no camera or sound person with me. I'm the cameraman, sound man and presenter, all rolled into one. Everything I have fits in this rucksack. Well, I've gone from a three-bedroom house, a family saloon car, a wreck of a car that I was restoring, gardens, running out the DIY, doing up the house, to two small backpacks, and my whole life fits in those two backpacks. Everybody is completely awestruck by this first iceberg. I'm sure after five days we'll be completely sick of them, but <laughs> the whole boat slowed down. You can hear the wash of the sea. We're going really slowly past this iceberg. And isn't she a beauty? <laughs> We're the first generation of eco-tourists to the Antarctic and it's a measure of our success as a species that we can travel here with all our creature comforts. But in less than 200 years after Darwin penned his origin of the species, this continent is under threat. The temperatures around here have risen five times faster than global temperatures in the past 50 years. These ice shelves will retreat if temperatures rise at the same rate over the next 50 years. Ours could be one of the last generations to experience the fragile, frozen beauty of Antarctica and its stress-free inhabitants. 